I have a quarter three Google Classroom class. I like to make a new Google Classroom every unit or every quarter. So here's how I'm going to make a new one for the next quarter. Now I use alicekill.com slash reusegc for all of my classes. And one of the things that that does is it puts the link to the spreadsheet in my class. So I'm going to go ahead and open that spreadsheet. So I use alicekill.com slash reusegc to manage my Google Classroom for the whole time. But now I'm ready to make a new Google Classroom. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to the add-ons menu and go to reuse GC and I want to create assignments. Now over here is how I have been creating and posting assignments to my Google Classroom this whole time, but I am going to show the roster. It is going to attempt to add these students to my new classroom so I can just invite them in. So I do need to have a roster. If there's any students that you do not want to have invited, you can go ahead and just delete it out. Uh, you would need to have their correct email address here to invite them to the new class. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead to the main menu. And from the main menu, if you scroll down, you'll see there's an option to start a new class. I'm going to choose start a new class. And what I want to name this, order for math class. And it is going to go slow here. It's going to be making my class. And it's working on it. It's thinking. Just be patient. Do I want to preset the topics? Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and put no. Okay, it's coming, it's thinking about it, it's copying the class, it's trying to invite all of these students from the roster. If you don't have a roster, it will just skip that, it will not try to. You can only invite the students if your admin gives you permissions to. So if you don't have permissions to programmatically add students, it just will skip adding them and you would invite students the good old fashioned way. Okay, and it should open up a brand new reuse GC. So you see I have a quarter four math class just for this and I am going to need to wait for this to load. While it's loading I'm going to go ahead and come back to my classes in Google Classroom because you can see that I have this new class waiting for me and when I choose accept it says I have 14 students. Do I want to add them in there? Yes I do. If it doesn't say that it's only because you didn't have permissions from your apps admin to do it. No big deal, you'll just go ahead and go to the settings cog and get the link to share with the students. So I'm going to come back here, I go to the add-ons menu, I come down, I use Re reuse GC and I show the sidebar. It's going to ask me to authorize. Once I authorize, the sidebar will come up. It allows me to choose setup. And from there I'm going to import my classes. And I want to set this spreadsheet to the same class. So I'm going to go here. This is the quarter four. I want to set it to this quarter four math class. Okay, I'm going to set the class. So once the class is set, I can go to get assignments. Now the class I had previously had, I'm going to come up here to the drop down. And I'm going to go to the quarter three. So I can list those assignments. That makes it easy for me to reuse the assignments from the last group. Now, if you go to that class, what you're going to notice is on the classwork page, it has the link to the spreadsheet for the Reuse GC for you to create assignments and interact with this class with a fresh Reuse GC.